Hey everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to my first haul for the month of September. Can you believe summer has already gone by? I swear some days I still feel like we're in April. I am so excited to share with you some great fashion finds that I found. I have some beauty items and I also have some home decor items. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, it would really help me out if you did. So let's get into the fashion finds. I was looking online. I wanted to get a white t-shirt with an eyelet cutout design and I actually found this one on Amazon and I have to tell you I was really blown away by the quality and also how it fit me. I bought it in a 3x and I find that the quality for what I paid for it I can't remember but it was pretty inexpensive. The quality really surprised me and I know I am very picky when it comes to fashion particularly from Amazon because it's usually always a fail for me but I was so excited to find this that I wanted to show it to you. As you can see in this picture just to give you an idea of how it fits I followed the sizing guide and I went with a 3X because I'm broad across the shoulders and I think that it fits me great because normally on Amazon their clothing is all over the place and it's very rare that I can find something other than a dress that I feel fits me well and looks nice on me. So this is a great inexpensive white uh, t-shirt to have in my wardrobe. Another new fashion item and I absolutely love these pants are by Athleta and they are their endless pants. Now I believe they're part of their commuter series which means that they're great for work, travel, uh, you can exercise in them. But the great thing is they don't wrinkle and if you get them wet that they dry very quickly. They are so well made. I love Athleta pants and I've actually sized down. I'm wearing a size 20. They're a little similar to the Brooklyn Athleta pants that I really like but I think I prefer these a little bit more because they're just a tad bit more dressy looking so they'd be great for travel. You could you know wear them casually or even wear them to dinner one evening with a nice blouse. They don't have the stripe down the side of the leg like the Brooklyn pants have. These are just a solid. I have them in navy and I think that they fit me really well. Perfect length and also size. I bought them in a regular inseam. I have a 27 inch inseam and the regular fits me fine. And I got them in a size 20. And they're also available in many different colors. You know how much I love my Spanx Air Essential pants? Well, they finally became available in navy and I just had to grab a pair. So I actually sized down, I went to a 2X and I feel that the fit is a lot better for me because I've lost some weight and they just fit me the way that I like my pants to fit. They're not too baggy and they're just as comfortable in the navy as they are in the black. I love these pants and I even wear them, you know, when it's 85 Fahrenheit outside. They're just the material. It's just like butter. It's so soft and they're just so comfortable and again they're very versatile that you can lounge in them or you can you know dress them up a bit so they're going to be perfect for travel. I actually just received an hour ago the order that I've been waiting on for Spanx and I went ahead and I bought the Spanx Thintastic Tank. It was on sale and I just wanted it to have say if I just want to put it on over my bra and maybe just have the contour jacket on when I'm in the house you know not have to wear a t-shirt or I could wear it underneath a blouse. Um, it does have a little bit of compression in it, so it's very form fitting. So I'm gonna be really anxious to try that on and you'll probably see that in a try on haul in the coming weeks. I just want to uh, tell you about the pieces that I bought in case you're interested in getting them. I also went ahead and I bought the Spanx Air Essentials cap sleeve top and I bought it in black. So I'm sized down for Spanx clothing. I'm now in a 2X in both the top and the bottom and I feel that fits me a lot better because I don't like it when my clothes are baggy because it you know can make me look a little larger than what I am and I have lost some weight so I feel like they're fitting me a lot better. I do wish that the arm length was just a tad bit longer and I wish that the neckline was just a little bit more of a scoop neck but I can't wait to try it on. This is a top like you can lounge around in but I could also see this as a very versatile piece if you're traveling and you just want to have a capsule wardrobe. You could put like a blazer over it or a sweater or just you know a nice gold necklace. Their clothing is so well made and so versatile that uh, they're just great pieces to have as staples 
in your wardrobe. Now this next Spank item was a real big investment for me and I'm really excited to try it on and I'll insert a picture here. It is their low maintenance silk button down blouse. So far in Canada it's only available in the white but I know in the U.S. you have about five or six color choices so hopefully we'll get a few more choices as well but I wanted to try their silk blouse because I don't have a nice dress blouse and this type of blouse if it's low maintenance that's right up my alley because I don't like ironing I don't even own an iron I have a steamer I think this would be also be a great travel piece you know for formal night if you're going on a cruise or if you need a nice blouse you know for some other occasion it's just something nice to have in your wardrobe so I'm really excited to see what the quality is like and I also like that in the middle like where the chest is to about the belly button there's an extra panel so it's a little more private so you don't see your bra. So I'm really looking forward to trying this on and I hope that I like it. And I also went ahead and bought this pair of shorts from Spanx. They are the perfect A-line short. I bought them in black and I bought them in a 2X. And they're a bit of an investment as well but I wanted to try them. Like I said, I don't mind spending money on quality clothing because it's going to last a long time. And if the clothing is very complimentary, you know, all the more reason to buy it and invest in it. And then, you know, you can wear it over and over again. So, so far in Canada, these are the only shorts that I can get, but I see in the US site, they have lots of really fun, vibrant, colorful ones. So I'm hoping with time we get access to a few more items that they have and I also saw that they have, I'll show you a picture, this new long sleeve jumpsuit and it's available in petite length. I'm just dying waiting for that to become available for me because that is something that I would live in all winter long. You know, it's very comfortable loungewear, but yet it can look put together and oh my gosh, it's available in petite, regular and tall length and I want this when it comes to Canada. But I know it's available for you now because I've seen it on Instagram. Actually, Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, uh, had it on her Instagram and that's how I saw it yesterday and I just fell in love with it. And I posted a picture of this dress a week ago on Instagram stories and I took a poll asking if I should keep it or not. And it's from Amazon and it's by The Drop. Remember I tried their blazer on a week or so ago and it, it didn't work out for me. I like this dress and I haven't sent it back yet and I think I'm going to keep it even though it is a bit on the pricey side for an Amazon dress. I think it's between $60 and $100 in Canada. We may be going away. It's our 35th anniversary later this year, depending on how things go with my husband's health. But I just wanted a dress that was kind of cute. You know I love blue. And in person, the dress is flattering. I like it. I showed it to my daughter. She liked it. And on Instagram, on the poll, I think it was pretty much split. Like 40% said keep it and 60% said you didn't like it. But I think I'm going to keep it in case we do get to go away because I just love the blue and it is flattering in person. It doesn't look that flattering in this selfie picture I took in front of um, the mirror in my bathroom, but I just think it's kind of cute. So if you're looking for a cute dress, you know, the quality again, I was surprised with this dress. It is very well made and it's also lined. So if that's something that you're looking for, you know, you might be interested in this. It's also available in solid colors, but I just wanted something that made me think of like uh, Santorini in Greece. So I don't know. I'll let you know what I decided to keep it or not, but for now, I still have it. So now let's talk about beauty. And I bought some makeup off of Amazon. I just like shopping online. I'm not a person like to go to the drugstore and look through the makeup. I just like the convenience of shopping online because I am planning a video in the next month where I want to do like a uh, drugstore makeup video. So I bought this e.l.f. Cosmetics Brow Serum because one of my viewers reached out to me. I was telling her I'm using the Olaplex uh, eyebrow serum on my lashes to, you know, try and help them to grow. And it is nice and it's working, but it's really expensive. So she reached out to me and she said, did you know that e.l.f. makes one? And I didn't. And she said that she really likes it. So once my Olaplex is finished, I'm going to switch over to the e.l.f. Eyebrow Serum. Well, it's for the eyelashes, but I use it on my brows. And I'll let you know what I think of it because it's very, very economical. 
I also bought an e.l.f. high definition finishing powder. I'm looking forward to trying that as well. Like it looks really nice just from the packaging. I haven't opened it up and tried it. I want to try it, you know, for the first time on camera. But uh, yeah, some of these e.l.f. products are really surprising me. So I'll be excited to try the e.l.f. finishing powder in that video and see what it's like. I also bought a Revlon Color Stay eyeshadow and it's in the color creme brulee and it's a pot eyeshadow and I just love a one and done eyeshadow so I'm really looking forward to trying the Revlon and see how it lasts on my oily eyelids. I saw these elf sponges and I thought for the price I'm gonna try them what do I have to lose? I think there's four or six in a pack. I have misplaced my beauty blender I don't know where it went but I love my beauty blender. I bought another brand sponge. It was pretty expensive and I don't like it at all. So I'm curious to see how the e.l.f. one stands up against my beauty blender and I hope that I can find it. And I also bought an e.l.f. putty blush and I bought it in a, this nice pink color. I can wear powder or cream blush. It doesn't really matter to me because I have oily skin. I'm still okay with powder blush, but a cream is nice because say if, you know, you're traveling, you don't want to take a lot of tools you can just use your fingers and pat it on so I'm looking forward to trying this and see how it applies and I also bought just to have it for the demonstration is the elf putty blush brush you know it's always handy to have lots of blush brushes and this was so inexpensive so for the demonstration I just wanted to try the brush and it's funny because I had went ahead and bought the elf eyebrow pencil and one of my viewers messaged me and said that she likes the cosmetics brow power pencil like I do but she said why don't you try this one it's just as good and it's only three or four dollars so I'm gonna try it looking forward to that and who knows it might replace my beloved it cosmetics brow pencil and I also bought a Rimmel London lipstick in the color sugar plum I'm not much of a lipstick person but I saw this color and it was fairly inexpensive so I thought for the makeup video that I'm going to do we're going to try a lipstick from Rimmel because I've never tried. I think I tried a lip gloss once and that's the only thing that I've ever tried from Rimmel. So be on the lookout for that video in the coming month. So now we have some home decor to share with you and I'm showing you a photo of a pumpkin. I love the fall. I love fall decor. I saw this pumpkin at a local nursery where we went to buy mums last weekend and it had to come home with me. I think it's meant for sitting outside and you can put a candle or a light in it but I said this thing is too darn cute. I want to be able to enjoy looking at it in the fall. So for now it's just sitting on an end table until I do my fall decorating. I'll probably put like a flameless candle in it on a timer and it's just kind of a, a cute touch to have in the house for the fall. So I'll try and find something similar if I can and link it below. And I wanted to get some floating shelves for over the toilet in the master bath. And I've been looking and looking and finally I saw these from Amazon and they were pretty inexpensive. I think they were like $30. So it's a set of two shelves. I got them in gray and I just need to find somebody now to hang them for me. And I just want to be able to put, you know, like a reed diffuser in there, maybe a box of Kleenex, like just style it a little bit. We're soon going to be in this house. It'll be three years, the end of November. <laughs> haven't really uh, finished decorating it partly because of you know COVID and then just busy with life and stuff but I'm gonna try and finish decorating the house over the fall and winter and if I find some good things I'll be sure to share them with you and remember my haul from a couple weeks ago I showed you a new rug I bought from Amazon for my front door we have such a weird setup at our front door I'll never build a house like this again we have like the entrance where the front door is located but then in the same area we have the garage door. So it's really difficult to find a perfect rug and how to place the rug. So I just bought, I think it's a two by six runner for where the garage door is. That's the door we use most of the time coming in and out of the house. 
So I got the matching runner to go with the rug that I bought for at the front door. And I mean, it looks okay. It's not ideal, but if you ever build a house, don't have it that your garage entrance is near your front entrance because it's a nightmare. And that's one regret that uh, I have with this setup because in retrospect, if I would have thought about it, we were kind of in a rush, you know, planning the house. I would have made a mud room like we had in our original house coming from the garage. And that way the front entrance is always you know nice and neat because nobody ever comes here to see us so that's my haul for the first week in september lots of great fashion finds and i'm just so excited for this hot weather to be over with it's supposed to leave us today fingers crossed and i'm looking forward to wearing my new spanx clothes and i know you guys have really been loving spanx as much as i have so i'm happy to know that some of things that i love you love as well so if you haven't seen my fall fashion trends that I think will look amazing on us apple shape women go and check that video out and I will see you over there and I hope that you will subscribe and give my video a like it really helps me out and I'll see you next time bye